What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about Devin Bush, linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers right here, number 55. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into this. That's one, what he did just there is something I really like from this kid. He, um, his eyes are fantastic. He sees plays before it happens. As you can see, his eyes are on Chris Carson. But uh, he's not just going to the hole right away. He's reading where he's going to go. He's still um, he's still staying in position because at this point, Russell Wilson could still pull it and it could be a play-action pass. So he's being patient and he's just letting the play play out and then he's just going to go to the gap. And he's going to wrap him up for a short game. Nice play. Nice play for the rookie. Um, pretty good start to this. So, uh, let me go ahead and find the next play. And this is another example of it right here. Same thing. He kept his eyes on him the whole time. He's going out to his left because that's where the blocking's going. The, the the blocking's going this way, so he he's starting to move this way. But he keeps his eyes on Chris Carson and Russell Wilson the entire time, just in case they cut back. And Chris Carson does cut back because this gap is massive. And um, yeah, he's he's just gonna turn around and go make this tackle. Now, if you're Chris Carson, I know this film session isn't on him, but honestly, he probably should have chosen this gap here. Just because the safety's over here, um, this guy here is crashing in on this hole. So if he if he went around the the other side, I mean this line, I mean th this uh, lineman here was here to block Devin Bush. So if he did, if he would have went this way, it would have been a better gain. But we're not looking at Chris Carson. We're looking at Devin Bush. So he's just gonna turn around and make a good tackle. So good play, good play for the rookie. All right, so uh, here's another one here. He's he's lining up over here, but he's going to um, move his way back into the middle as the receiver moves across. Right now, he's got his eyes on Chris Carson, and he's just going to follow him through the hole and make a good play. He, he sees the gaps really well, especially for a rookie. His eyes are pretty good. Um, when he's... When he's able to go free, this man is insane. He hits hard. He hits the gap hard. Uh, he's athletic. He, he's a great player. Um, even in college, I said that the only thing I could, I would like to see him work on a little bit was his ability to get off of blocks. Um, I'm curious to see, you know, a little bit of that. We'll, we'll see. Um, but as far as reading his keys, he's very good at that. He's very good at hitting hard. He's just an overall good player. So uh, let me go ahead and find the next play here. All right, more of the same thing here. We're going to uh, go ahead and play this. He's lining up right here. And right there, he's, he's going to see this gap. It's wide open, and he's just going to fill it. That's textbook right there, and he hit it hard. Like uh, that—that's what I was talking about. He he went at that at that gap really hard and really fast. So, yeah, very um very aggressive player, very Steelers like in that regard. So yeah, like this guy a lot for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let me go ahead and find the next play here. All right, so uh, this one is uh, on a passing situation. Um, as you can see, there's no running back in the backfield currently. Um, Devin Bush is going to run up like he's going to blitz, but then he's going to drop back into coverage. Um, yeah, I'm slowing it down on this one. A little bit more to see on this one. Now, see, the thing with Devin Bush... This is where I would like to see him take off. Go toward the tight end right now. 
just start taking off. Like I, I, this is where this is one thing I, I'd like to see him improve on when he's in zone coverage. Read the quarterback a little bit better and uh, get start moving toward the tight end a little bit sooner. Um, but you know he reacts to it decently quickly. Uh, I just prefer my defenders to attack rather than react. But you know, hey, it is what it is. And this right here is actually what I was talking about earlier, and it looks like he may have improved on this a little bit. Uh, Get and slow this down real quick. Um, yeah, Chris Carson is going to go ahead and bounce this out to the outside, and right away Devin Bush is reading this. He's he sees he sees what's going on. He's going to try to hit this this gap here, but this offensive lineman is going to get to Devin Bush to stop him. And this is where I had questions because he was really good at reading his keys. He's athletic. He can work on his coverage a little bit. But one of the big questions I had for him, and this is one thing he wasn't consistent with in college, is being able to shed off blocks. Now, a lot of times his ability to read let him avoid blocks. But this is where I had questions of whether he could get off of blocks or not. And he's going to get off this guy. And he's going to bounce outside and use his athleticism to get to Chris Carson. And he he was able to finish. He was able to wrap him up. Chris Carson gave him a little step, but it didn't matter. Devin Bush was still able to get his arms around him and bring him down. So, good play. Very good play. All right, so on this one here, this is the uh, fumble recovery where he almost took it in for a touchdown. If you got If you guys watched the game, you probably would have already knew about this play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slow it down, and I am going to use the wide angle here because you kind of need to see exactly what's going on. Might actually show both angles here. We'll see. Who actually forces this out? Okay, the DB. Actually, he just kind of dropped it. He went for his knees with it. Chris Carson just kind of dropped it. Okay. So he he's gonna drop the ball there and it's and right away Devin Bush is gonna he's gonna see it and make the heads up play to go and get it. Not only does he go and get it, but he's gonna show off his athleticism. He's gonna instead of just fall on it, he's gonna scoop it up. Now in most cases I would say to just fall on it because now he's running backwards, but it works out. This dude's super athletic and you know what I'm actually gonna let this play normal so you can actually see how athletic this guy is. He almost scores there. But uh, he does step out of bounds before he hits the pylon. So it is what it is there. But very good play. Very good heads up play by the young linebacker. So uh, let me go ahead and find the next play. Alright, this is actually the last play I'm going to show you guys. Um, and this is more of just the same thing I've been saying. His ability to read, read his keys, and be able to be able to tell what, the, what the offense is trying to do to him. He's just gonna keep his eyes on Chris Carson. And he's not gonna get himself out of position. And he's gonna make the tackle. Very good play. Very very good heads up play. Um, but I've always I've always been kind of big on Devin Bush. Um. Him and Devin White, actually, even though I prefer Devin Bush because he's a little bit more aggressive. Um, one thing, like I said, I pointed it out earlier. One thing I'd like to see him improve on a little bit is his coverage. But, I mean, he is a linebacker, but he's athletic enough to get the job done. He just needs a little bit more work, but he is a rookie. so. Um, and I, I showed that he's able to get through some blocks. He just needs to work on doing it consistently because that was a problem for him in college. But... Uh, Overall, very, very good player. Very athletic. Reads his keys really well. Really well. Very smart football player. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this guy. Definitely looking forward to seeing what he does in the future. Um, I know it sucks losing Ryan Chazier, but this guy's, this guy's the next best thing. Um, can't really replace a guy like Ryan, but... This guy's gonna do big things. Uh, the only thing, only real negative I have is that stupid ass ponytail sticking out the back of his helmet. I think that kind of looks retarded, but you know, hey, whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I don't really got too much more to say. Uh, 
If you liked it, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. If there's any Steelers fans, let me know. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.